<laughs> now that was a scary scene. I, I remember scene. that movie. That's yeah, classic, that isn't it? Yep. Cindy Dole with my buddy here. Eric Steromer here. And uh, this is Home Wizards, where we love to have some fun in October. We love to uh, help you improve your home and improve your life. But, heck, that also means getting your place really scary for Halloween. And we're going to be talking with a number of folks who have a serious, serious addiction to Halloween. And i got to tell you, I'm addicted myself to some of these great yards or, or sites that people have. My kids absolutely go crazy when we get to go to a haunted house Well, didn't you area. say they wanted to see paranormal activity? They, sh- they wanted to see it last night, but we have paranormal know, activity right it, here in the studio today. Well, right? let's talk with one of our first guests who's all about being a California haunt aficionado. It means that basically year-round they are getting ready for Halloween next time because it just is so fun and so exciting. And, and Gary Shireman runs Coffin Creek. And Gary, good to have you, first of all. Well, thanks for having me on. And this is something that dates back to the 1930s? 1938. And there was a flood and some coffins came flowing down the river. Southern California had 14 days straight of rain. And the Santa Ana River totally overflowed. The city of Orange had three feet of water throughout the whole city. And after the flood subsided, they found 13 coffins in the riverbed near our location where we're at. And of those 13 coffins, two of the coffins had the remains in, and the remains of two other coffins were nearby. And they say ever since that time, that whole place has been haunted. And the people that lived in that area at the time, they're the ones that started calling it Coffin Creek. And when I was doing my research for my haunted house, I found that name. And the first thing I did was jumped on the Internet. And, of course, that name was available. So that's what I named my event after. CoffinCreek.com. That's correct. (laughs) Wait a minute. I was trying to buy that site. (laughs) You can be the CoffinCreek.com. So, Gary, you are in Corona. That's correct. Near the Santa Ana River. Uh Uh-huh. And talk about how you went to this property and you said, you know, I've got to have this for my haunt because I'm really into Halloween. Well, I was uh, spent a number of years looking for a location. And I wanted a location where I could set something up permanently and not have to tear down like a lot of haunted houses do. Uh, That's one of the big drawbacks of set up, tear down, set up. So I'm looking at this location, and it's it's in a very populated area, but the second you turn the corner, you're like, wow, where am I? It at one time was an old abandoned... um, A barn? No, it was actually a county park at one time. And so we have 180 acres there in this location. So we have plenty of room there. Uh, we have five attractions that we run out of, out of there. We have the Chambers of the Mausoleum, Lone Hill Manor, Scarecrow Trail, Fear Tonight, and the Shady Hollow Hayride. So with this vast area, we can put on a, a, a large event for a lot of people to come enjoy. Is it open right now? It is open right now. It's open tonight, as a matter of fact. Are there seven abandoned coffins there haunting people? <laughs> uh, there's actually where Lone Hill Manor was set up was where the original uh, ranch house was that was on this property back in 1938. And we have paranormal activity up there. I've had three different paranormal groups come out to investigate the place just to see what we had. I, I The first year I was out there... Uh, the group found paranormal activity. We got some EVPs from down at the riverbed. So, Electronic how, how, do you, voice. how do you find? Yes. Is, is it paranormal activity droppings, like with rats? Or, or uh, no, not, not, ex- not exactly. No, the investigators. Electronic uh, voice phenomena. I mean, you can exactly. you could hear. You could track the. You can actually. They, the they whispers. Were, get they, out of my yes. Oh, that's you. Yes. That's not the a whispers. paranormal. <laughs> th- yeah. <laughs> the the recording we the recording we have on that that event. We, uh, the investigators were asking questions if there was anybody out here and they, they would continue to ask, is anybody here? Can you contact us? How did you get here? And you hear a female voice say, washed. Ooh. 
It's about, one of our coffin people, I think. Yes. So you really don't need um, actors in costumes. You have the real thing. We have the real thing. <laughs> the only problem is the ghosts don't always cooperate with us, so we got to kind of help them out a little bit. You got to uh, coax them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is exciting. So, how it, many you have three? How many different attractions? There's five attractions, five attractions in one location. And all year you're operating? No, we only operate in the month of October. But you have the property. But we have our we have we are set up all year long. We are constantly building, adding new stuff, wow. uh, improving the event, and we. Uh, we just feel we'll never be finished. <laughs> well, yeah. paint paint a picture for us. I mean, because I haven't been to Coffin Creek yet, and we have to go. You, I was going to say, do you have, you have room for five stromers? Oh, absolutely. Okay, Let's good. go. I mean, absolutely. this looks like a lot of fun. But on a, first, on a scale of one to ten, how scary is it, and ten being scariest? Um, we're right up there. Really? Yeah. Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> and so do, do people jump out and touch you? Is it that kind of scary? Well, we don't touch people, uh, but we come awful close. Uh huh. And are you in it? Do you dress up? And uh, I'm behind the scenes most of the time. That's that's the biggest thing I miss about running the the operation is I don't get a scare like I used to. You know. Why do you and like to scare people? It's fun. It's just it's addicting. You scare one person. It's like you work hard all year putting stuff together, and then it's like a joy. The first to you, scream huh? of the season is like. That's all worth it's it. Like that's sweet, what we did it all for. Really. <laughs> <laughs> but it isn't like you want to be mean. It's just you feel almost like you've you're victorious because we as a as a haunt goer want to be scared, right? Exactly. We want we want that rush. Exactly. I mean, I your have, kids want that rush, right, Eric? Yeah, I mean, they want to be right yeah. to the, at the edge. I have a sign on my ticket booth. There are no refunds because you paid me to scare you, and if you're too scared to go in. We did our job, and we're keeping our keeping your money. Now, have you ever gone too far, and people got so scared that they complained? Uh, we've never had any complaints, but we have had people that take one step in the front door and they come right back out. I've done that at amusement parks where I go to a roller coaster and I get almost to where you know you're seeing people. Oh my gosh, this is going to be how many G's? You're going how many times you're turning? And I I take like the chicken's exit. Uh -huh. So do you have like a chicken exit? <laughs> Uh, we do, but we try not to use them. We try okay. not to encourage that. All we right. try to get them. You to sell go the pumpkins all the there. Through. We do have a pumpkin patch oh, there. Good, good. Uh, we started uh, this year doing some stuff uh, during the day for the kids, for the little ones. So we have a pumpkin patch, and we do have a non-scary hayride and pony rides, a petting zoo. Oh wow, this is great. So we so where? Tell me exactly how to get there. How do I get there? Okay. You can the simplest way is if you take the sixty freeway east. Yeah. Just before you get to the fifteen, exit Archibald, head uh -huh. south about three miles till you come to where River Road and Archibald come together and we're right on the corner. And that's we, Corona. That is in Corona, correct. Okay, and when we get there, Gary, yes. is it different every year or is it always the same kind of a theme or series the, of themes? The theme is uh, pretty much the same theme, but things change all the time. We add more. We make uh, make the attractions larger. Uh, some of the attractions we totally change. So we, it's like our trail. Our trail is totally different than it was last year, uh, which confuses a lot of people because hey, the people that have been there go to. The old trail, and it's like, no, it's over here now. That's good, though. So, you want to mix it up. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. And we're already planning the trail for next year. Ooh. Wow, this is good stuff. And when we go, I mean, what would you say is the creepiest thing that we'll see? Some, like, the creepiest guy and don't, or and don't say you in a unitard. We did that last year. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be scary. That would be creepy. <laughs> is, there, is there one thing that really you go, oh, my gosh, this is going to be the five-star scary guy? You know, we have so many of them. You know, we have so Oh, name one. Come on. And do you have, that's, cl that's, do you have clowns? That's Please like, say you don't have clowns. Don't, it's not scary clowns. Don't like the Those clowns. Freak me out. <laughs> that's like asking a, a, somebody, what's their favorite child? Okay. Yeah. It's, like, it's not a fair <laughs> well, I question. I can clearly tell you mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well we, can, we won't see clowns, right? Promise we won't see clowns. Uh, I don't promise anything. All right. Except a good time. All right. We're going to be scared out of the bejesus. All right, we can go to your website again. It is coffincreek.com in Corona. Correct. And you're open tonight? We're open tonight. Yeah.
And, and you're getting ready for next year already. And we're already, I've been planning next year, started a month ago planning next year. So if I come, will you tell that creepy lady to not whisper <laughs> wash? When, I when I see her, I, what does she say? Wash? I don't, I don't have wash. any control over that one, her. That, I, that freaks me out. <laughs> you know, the, the, the spirits that live up there, I don't, I don't control them. Uh, they, uh, they just kind of do what they want. They like Halloween too, apparently. Yes. Well, I'll tell you one incident we had about two months well, ago. Well, we only have 30 seconds, so make it quick. Go ahead. Okay, we had a number of break-ins, and so we heard somebody inside the haunted house. We called the police. The police came out, got me on the phone because I was already home, asked if they could kick in the front door to search the place. They kicked in the front door. They searched the whole place, found absolutely nothing. Uh -huh. And their final parting words were, I know we heard somebody in there. This place must really be haunted. And the and the voice was wash. Wash. No, stop <laughs> stop kicking that the door. Was, that was the one at the river. All right. Bed. Gary Sharman, we'll check it out. It's uh, coffincreek.com. Happy Halloween season to you and I can't wait to come out and see it. Gary, Thank thanks. you very much. All right, that well coming awesome. up next we're gonna talk with more of these folks who love to haunt. Uh this is the uh well, we're not gonna give it away, but let's just say that it has to do with a nautical theme. Scary sailors. Think of that. It's coming up next. I love a man in uniform. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole, Home Wizards, where we love to help you improve your home and improve your life, and we're having fun Halloween style here on KFWB. News Talk 980.